This is Korea News for May 19, 2022. While actress Kim se ron who was caught on suspicion of drunk driving, did not apologize for the second day, and was criticized by public opinion, a CCTV video was released at the time of the accident. Actress Kim se ron is a hot topic for her role as a child in the movie The Mister, starring Won Bin. Kim se ron was driving on a road near Cheongdam Dong, Gangnamgu, Seoul at 8 a.m. yesterday, and collided with a guardrail, a street tree, and a transformer several times. As a result of the accident, electricity supply was cut off at 57 places including nearby shops, and after restoration work, it was restored to normal within three hours. After receiving the structure at the scene, the police tracked down Kim se ron who was driving again, and arrested him, and then checked whether he was drinking with a drink detector. However, it is reported that Kim se ron wanted to have blood drawn instead of taking a breathalyzer test, and it was reported that Kim se ron was taken to the hospital to have blood drawn. In the released CCTV, the black SUV car driven by Kim se ron staggered out of the alley, turned right, and then rushed toward the sidewalk and crashed into a transformer. The owner of a cafe near the accident said, I was not able to do business for about four hours in the morning. The police responded to multiple reports saying there is a vehicle that is moving remarkably shaky, and caught Kim se ron A police official said he plans to file charges after seeing the results of the blood collection in a week. In this regard, Kim se rons agency gold medalist said yesterday, Kim se ron conducted a blood test for an accurate test, and after the test, she was sent home without further investigation under the accompaniment of her guardian. The results of the blood test are expected to come out in two weeks, he said. However, Kim se rons side did not apologize for the incident, and it continues to this morning, the second day. Accordingly, attention is focused on how Kim se ron will respond when the blood test results come out after one to two weeks. Meanwhile, the police are examining whether the charge of aiding drunk driving can also be applied to a passenger in his 20s who was in his car with Kim se ron at the time of the accident. About 58,000 Hyundai and Kia motors are recalled due to the fear of slipping on the slope because the parking mode is turned off while parking. According to the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport on the 19th, 58,397 units, including 33,660 Hyundai Ioniq 5 and 3,318 Genesis GV60 units, 2,232 electric Genesis G80 units, 594 Genesis Electric Vehicle GV70 units and 18,593 Kia EV6 units manufactured between 2021 and 2022 in this study, it was confirmed that the parking mode was cancelled while the electronic shift control system was parked on an incline, and the vehicle could slip and cause an accident. While Hyundai Motor Company is announcing large-scale electrification investment plans one after another, a plan to establish an electric vehicle plant in the United States is expected to be formalized soon. According to foreign media on the 19th, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp's office recently issued a press release and announced that he would hold a major press conference at the Bryan County factory site near Savannah Harbor on the 20th. This is the place that many local media reported as the planned establishment of Hyundai Motors electric vehicle plant. The Associated Press reported on the 13th that Hyundai Motor Company will announce the construction of an electric vehicle plant worth US$7 billion US dollars and KRW 9 trillion in Georgia during US President Joe Biden's visit to Korea. The scale of job creation is 8,500. Meanwhile, the head of Hyundai Motors Labor Union in Korea said in a recent newsletter about Hyundai Motors' investment in building an electric vehicle plant in the United States, we should carefully review the recent projects such as the construction of an electric car plant in the United States. Well, he protested. Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong will personally guide U.S. President Joe Biden's visit to Samsung Electronics Pyeongtaek plant, visiting Korea on the 20th. This is Vice Chairman Lee's first on-site management of the year who has not been able to come to the fore in management because he has been bound by legal shackles. According to business circles on the 19th, Vice Chairman Lee and Samsung Electronics executives visited the Pyeongtaek campus the day before and conducted a preliminary inspection in preparation for President Biden's visit. It is the first time in about a year and four months since January last year that Vice Chairman Lee officially visited the Pyeongtaek campus. The Pyeongtaek plant is the world's largest semiconductor plant producing cutting-edge memory and foundry products. President Biden has consistently expressed interest in the semiconductor industry. President Biden will tour the Pyeongtaek plant to discuss close cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. to stabilize the global supply chain. In addition, cooperation between the two countries is expected to be emphasized in major high-tech industries including semiconductors. It is said that Samsung Electronics is not letting go of tension over the first U.S. president's visit to the site. In particular, with President Yoon suk yeol accompanying him, Vice Chairman Lee stood side by side with the heads of both countries. The issuance of visas to foreign tourists, which the government has suspended to prevent the influx of COVID-19, will resume from next month. The Ministry of Justice announced on the 19th that it will resume issuance of short-term C3 visas and electronic visas for foreign tourists from countries classified as general level 1 starting from the 1st of next month.
the C1 visa is granted to those who intend to visit Korea for up to 90 days for commercial activities such as market research and consultation, as well as tourism, recuperation, visits to relatives, and participation in meetings. The e-visa is a visa issued to group tourists and outstanding talents after receiving their online application. The government has temporarily suspended the issuance of visas from April 13, 2020, to prevent the inflow of COVID-19. The government has also decided to revive the effect of short-term multiple visas, which guarantee multiple entry times. This visa has also been temporarily suspended from April 13, 2020. Foreigners who have been issued a short-term multiple visa before April 5, 2020 can use this visa to enter Korea from next month without any special measures. This decision is a follow-up to the quarantine authorities' announcement in March of the reorganization of the Overseas Immigration Management System, which classifies countries into general and state level 2 according to each country's quarantine risk and improves visa issuance restrictions. As there is currently no country classified as a provincial state, all foreigners are expected to be able to enter Korea for tourism. In the future, if a country classified as a cautionary state by the quarantine authorities is created, foreigners of that nationality will be able to apply for a visa only for purposes such as diplomacy, public affairs, agreements, presence, investment, trade management, and humanitarian reasons. An official from the Ministry of Justice said, we expect that it will help create jobs for the people and attract excellent foreign talent by boosting domestic demand through the influx of foreign tourists and revitalizing related industries. Eleven people, including faculty and staff at Gimpo National University, were brought to trial on charges of manipulating the recruitment rate for new students in order to receive government financial support. It was also revealed that the student office staff assigned fake students who had been recruited to professors and instructed them to pay tuition instead. New students included graduate students who were less likely to enter the school, and seniors in their 60s. On the 18th, the Incheon District Prosecutor's Office Buchan District Office indicted without detention the president of the Gimpo National University Foundation for obstruction of business and hierarchical obstruction of the execution of official duties. Prosecutors also handed over 10 people, including the former vice president of the school, the former head of the entrance examination student team, and the current professor, to trial on the same charges without detention. Thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe.